Hello friends, last time we have seen the basic formula is how to form equation of spheres. Now we move ahead. In previous presentation we have discussed how many forms of equations of spheres are there. Out of which first one is general form. Equation of sphere in general form is given by x square plus y square plus z square plus 2ux plus 2vy plus 2wz plus d equal to 0 where equation or the coordinates for center of the spheres sphere is minus u minus v minus w and radius is evaluated by using formula square root of u square plus v square plus w square minus d equation of sphere in center radius form is given by x minus a square plus y minus b square plus z minus c square equal to r square where a comma b comma c are the coordinates for center and r is the radius. Third form of equation of sphere is intercept form. It is given by x square plus y square plus z square minus ax minus by minus cz equal to 0 where a, b, c are x intercept, y intercept and z intercept respectively. Equation of sphere in diameter form is given by x minus x1 into x minus x2 plus y minus y1 into y minus y2 plus z minus z1 into z minus z2 equal to 0 where x1, y1, z1 and x2, y2, z2 are the two points which forms diameter after joining both points. And fifth one, if four points are given namely x1, y1, z1, x2, y2, z2, x3, y3, z3 and x4, y4, z4 then equation of sphere in four point form is given after calculating the determinant of order 5 by 5 where first column is x square y square plus x square plus y square plus z square x1 square plus y1 square plus z1 square same is the case with x2 y2 z2 x3 y3 z3 x4 y4 z4 their square and their addition second column is the x coordinate of all four points third column is y coordinate of all four points and third column is z coordinate of all four points where the last column number five is a constant one if you evaluate this determinant we get equation of sphere in four point form now while calculating equation of sphere in most of the cases we consider general equation general form of the equation of sphere and which is x square plus y square plus z square plus 2ux plus 2vy plus 2wz plus d equal to 0 where center can be calculated by the property minus u minus v minus w and r is equal to square root of u square plus v square plus w square minus d remember this we have to use this formula in many of the cases now we consider different cases how many types of examples on sphere are there first case is if two spheres are touching each other now there are two more cases if both cases are touching externally if we consider first sphere number one whose center is at point a and radius equal to r1 and second sphere s2 whose center is at point B and radius equal to R2. If these two spheres S1 and S2 are touching each other externally, then distance between their radii, distance between, between the centers of these two spheres, suppose we call this distance as D, then D is equal to sum of their radii. The point of contact C is the point which divides the line segment AB internally in the ratio R1 and R2. Case 2 is when two spheres touching each other internally. Again we consider sphere S1 whose radius is R1 and center is at point A and sphere S2 whose center is at point B and radius equal to R2. Then distance between the centers of these two spheres S1 and S2 if we call it as D then it is obtained by taking difference between the bigger radius minus the smaller radius. 
and the point of contact this point of contact is the point which divides the line segment externally in the ratio of their radii sphere touching plane this is case 2 when a sphere touches a plane so if sphere is touching a plane that is that plane is tangential to the sphere as shown in the figure this is our sphere which touches the plane at point of contact P. If we consider line passing through this point C perpendicular to the plane, it will be passing through the center of the sphere. Its coordinates are minus U, minus V, minus W. So while solving examples where a sphere is involved and it touches a plane, then we have to consider these three important things. First one, equation of sphere, point of contact and equation of tangential plane. So from equation of sphere we can identify what is the coordinates for center and its radius. From equation of plane we can find the direction ratios which are perpendicular to plane and from this point of contact we can identify equation of line passing through these two points. So we consider equation of sphere where center is minus u minus v minus w and radius can be calculated by using the formula. To find equation of tangent plane at point P, coordinates are given by x1, y1, z1, we use basic properties. First one, normal to the tangent plane at point x1, y1, z1 is passing through center of the sphere. So to find equation of this plane passing through this point P, where coordinates are given by x1, y1, z1, so it will be passing through center of the sphere since we have given a sphere. So the line passing through this center will be perpendicular. Since direction ratios of the plane are given by, so from given equation, we can identify direction ratios are x1 plus u, y1 plus v, z1 plus w. Because your coordinates are x1, y1, z1, these are the points minus u, minus v, minus w. Therefore, direction ratios passing through these two points will be x1 minus minus u1 comma y1 minus minus v1 z1 minus minus w so this will be x plus u comma y1 plus v plus z1 plus w are the direction ratios which are perpendicular to the plane second one equation of plane passing through point x1 y1 z1 with direction ratios a b c is given by a x minus x1 plus b y minus y1 plus c z minus z1 equal to 0. So by using these two properties we can identify equation of plane. Therefore equation of tangent plane is so direction ratios a is equal to x1 plus u into x minus x1 plus y1 plus v into y minus y1 z1 plus w into z minus z1 equal to 0. Rearranging the terms, if we simplify this equation, we get x x1 plus y y1 plus z z1 plus u x plus v y plus w z minus u x1 plus v y1 plus w z1 plus x1 square plus y1 square plus z1 square equal to 0. We have taken this minus sign common. We denote it by equation number 3. Since we know that point x1 y1 z1 lies on sphere as well as plane so it will satisfy equation of sphere therefore equation 1 can be converted to x1 square plus y1 square plus z1 square plus 2ux1 plus 2vy1 plus 2wz1 plus d equal to 0. We can rewrite this 2 times ux1 plus 2vy1 plus 2wz1 as ux1 plus ux1 so we are bifurcating this two. So, we can rearrange the terms. If you take that minus sign outside, one term ux1 plus vy1 plus wz1 plus d is equal to 0. Remaining terms can be sent to the right hand side. So, it will become minus times x1 square plus y1 square plus z1 square plus ux1 plus vy1 plus wz1. Now, we substitute this term in equation number 3. Therefore, equation 3 becomes... So we can substitute that part here. So 
if we rearrange the term containing variables x1, if you take that x1, u, p, w. If you simplify these two terms, we get x x1 plus y y1 plus z z1 plus u x plus x1 plus v into y plus y1 plus w into z plus z1 plus d equal to 0. And this is required equation of tangent plane which is tangential to the given sphere. So while solving this, again we can use some basic properties. So note some definition. Tangent plane property. If a plane touches the sphere, then length of perpendicular from the center of the sphere must be equal to radius of the sphere as we have seen. For this plane, if we have point P, which lies on the sphere as well as on point, if we consider a line passing through this to the center, this will be perpendicular. So the perpendicular distance from plane passing through the center is equal to radius of the sphere. It is quite obvious to identify. And to find point of contact, if equation of sphere is given along with equation of plane, and to find point of contact, we determine point of intersection by taking a line passing through these two points perpendicular to the plane and passing through center of the sphere. Let us consider one example. Show that plane 2x minus 2y plus z plus 12 equal to 0 touches the sphere x square plus y square plus z square minus 2x minus 4y plus 2z minus 3 equal to 0. Also find point of contact. This question asked in Savitri Bhai Phule Pune University exam in May 2016, December 2018 recently. First we consider equation of plane 2x minus 2y plus z plus 12 equal to 0 from which we can identify direction ratios r to minus 2 and plus 1. Let us con consider equation of sphere given x square plus y square plus z square minus 2x minus 4y plus 2z minus 3 equal to 0. From this we can identify coordinates for the center which are 1, 2 and minus 1 and the radius of the sphere which is equal to 3. Let us denote this given data by equation number 1. So we construct one diagram sphere with center minus uh, 1, minus 2, 1. Let P be the point of contact, equation of plane, with direction ratios 2, minus 2 and 1. Length of perpendicular from center C on the plane is given by, so perpendicular distance is equal to modulus of 2 into 1, where 1, 2 and minus 1 are the coordinates for the center of the sphere and this 2, minus 2, 1 and 12. This is obtained from equation of plane divided by square root of sum of squares of direction ratios of the plane. So this is equal to radius of the plane. Since perpendicular distance is equal to radius of sphere, this implies given plane touches the sphere. This is first part of the solution. Now to find point of contact, consider equation of line CP with direction ratios 2, minus 2 and 1. So equation of line passing through point with direction ratios is x minus x minus 1 upon 2 equal to y minus 2 upon minus 2, z plus 1 upon 1. We consider it is equal to k. So it will give like locus of points which lies on the line. So we get x is equal to 2k plus 1, y is equal to minus 2k plus 2, z is equal to k minus 1. This is any random point which lies on this line. Now we consider these are the coordinates for our required center. These are the required coordinates for the point of contact P. Since this point P lies on sphere as well as on plane, so we substitute these values for x, y, z in equation of plane. If we simplify this equation, we get k is equal to minus 1. And therefore, required point of contact is minus 1, 4 and minus 2. 